Hey, hey, what's up guys? I am Ryan and it's safe to say that 360 millimeter AIOs have been really popular and practically offer a lot of the same cooling characteristics of that of a custom water cooling loop. But I beg to ask, what's the next step? Well, being an avid water cooler myself, going to custom water cooling is a bit of a different animal entirely. A CPU block, fittings, tubing, coolant, pump, reservoir, fans, and any other odds and ends that usually pop up while constructing a custom water cooling loop. So what does one do to mitigate that? Well, that is the next step for water cooling noobs is to look at a box kit that includes everything needed to set up a CPU only water cooling loop, which is where Corsair's XH305i RGB Pro steps in. So a while ago, I checked out Corsair's IQ H150i Elite LCD. Check out that review here. In that review, I ran a six core, 12 threaded Intel Core i5 11600K, which has a TDP of around 125 watts. Well, since then I reviewed the IQ 5000T RGB and I put the very same IQ H150i LCD in the roof to cool the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X I chose over the Intel Core i5 11600K. And it seems to keep that animal pretty well under control. Thanks to Corsair, we now have the XH305i RGB here to play with. So I thought, why not look at this from a bit of an upgrader's point of view? So can the XH305i RGB Pro do any better? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. But first, let's unbox this and see what's in the box. Actually, it's all right here in the back. Corsair literally has handpicked everything one would need to set up a CPU water cooling loop using the latest tubing fun, hardline tubing. Don't worry, I've done several hardline builds, including the Threadripper Beast behind me. Kicking things off is the CPU block, which Corsair has chosen to include their XC7 RGB Pro CPU block. The XC7 is Corsair's mid-range CPU block, offering the most compatibility with current sockets, including the newest Intel 1700 socket, as well as AMD's AM4. The other CPU water blocks that Corsair offers are the XC5, XC8, the JS2 Sense limited edition model, and the XC9 for AGDT CPUs. Next up is the XD5 RGB Pump Res, which features a D5 style PWM pump, which is a very high performer that has had a very proven track record in the world of water cooling. The reservoir is rated to hold 330 milliliters of coolant. The radiator, the XR5 360, which is an all copper 360 millimeter radiator, that's 30 millimeter thick which shouldn't have any issues keeping modern CPUs cool. For fans, Corsair opted to include three of their QL120 RGB fans, which are performance static pressure fans that are quite suited for a water cooling radiator application. Inside each QL120 fan are 34 RGB LEDs split across four light loop zones. An included IQ Controller Commander Pro module is also included, which acts like a central command center for everything light and fan related. Fittings are also included. Some like the 90 degree fittings might not be needed to be used depending on component placement. Six 10 by 14 millimeter PMMA tube at a half meter each are also included as well. Coolant Corsair has included 1000 milliliters of their XL8 clear coolant, as well as a 250 milliliter fill bottle. And for some tube cutting and bending, an XT hardline bending toolkit is also provided. One tool that you will definitely need unless you plan on doing straight tube runs is a good quality heat gun. So why don't I put the XH305i RGB Pro into my Corsair 5000T RGB that I reviewed a while back. Check out the review here. The test system has a Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core 24 thread CPU on an Aorus X570 master motherboard. For memory, I have a 16 gigabyte kit of Team Group's Excalibur DDR4 3600 that I had lying around. Storage, I opted to use Corsair's MP600 XT Pro 2 terabyte NVMe M.2 SSD, which rips through things at about 7K read and write speeds. The GPU is an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Super FE, and the power is from the EVGA 750 Watt P2 power supply. First, I'm going to take a few temp numbers from the H150i Elite LCD, install the full XH305i RGB Pro kit, take a few more numbers, and I'll see you back here with the results and my thoughts.
right, guys, this was close, which is what I thought it would be. The H150i Elite LCD does pretty well for the most part. A very easy installation with a lot of cooling capacity, coming in at a cool 33C at idle and 76C at full load. Not bad at all for an AIO. An AIO that has an LCD screen to give you real-time readout of what's going on with your system, which is a pretty handy feature. The H150i Elite LCD, on the other hand, is still an AIO, which offers no expandability to cool any additional components like your GPU. Now, the XH305i RGB Pro, which is an open water cooling loop, pretty much matched the H150i Elite LCD in temps, coming in at 34C idle and 74C load, which I would consider to be in the margin of error, considering the ambient temperature difference between the two setups. Now, personally, I am a water cooler through and through, so it's no surprise that the XH305i RGB Pro kit really appeals to me more. The value proposition from an AIO to a custom water cooling kit is kind of slanted to give the AIO a price to performance advantage. But that's not why we water cool, is it? We water cool because we chase after every last bit of performance from the rigs we build. We water cool because people envy it. We water cool to be that guy when someone sees our PC. Like a few days ago when the Spectrum guy was at my house for a modem malfunction, who was literally like, holy sh that's wicked cool. He was looking right at the 5000T with the XH305i RGB Pro kit that I installed the night prior. Let's face it, water cooling is an attention getter. Stepping it up to hard lane tubing adds another layer of X factor, which is exactly what the Corsair IQ XH305i RGB Pro does. Now the last thing I wanna do is address pricing. Like I traditionally like to do is by doing a price breakdown of the included components to give a little bit more clarification. So here is a list I made up from going to Corsair's Design Your loop configurator, which came to $713.88 before shipping. The IQ XH305i RGB Pro is priced at $599, which is over a $100 discount for literally the same parts. Now compared to the H150i Elite LCD, the XH305i RGB Pro is twice the price for close to the same performance. But again, it can't be expanded to cool other components. It has soft tubing, and to be frank, you lose the experience of designing and building your own custom water cooling loop. So what are my thoughts on Corsair's IQ XH305i RGB Pro Hardline Water Cooling Kit. For the most part, yeah, it makes complete sense to buy all your water cooling parts this way. Only a few things that I found odd and could be improved in later revisions. First, as someone who has never worked with PMMA tubing before, I would think it's way more brittle than normal PETG tubing. I must have broken at least three or four tubes while bending. Or should I say, I removed the tube from heat and applied a bit too much pressure. Plus, those PMMA tubes are only about a half meter long, so long runs are going to be a bit of a hassle. It's just a learning curve I had to adjust for. The XT5 pump is really quiet and has enough power to add additional radiators and a GPU block, but was only wired with a Molex connector as opposed to a SATA connector, which meant I had to go hunting for the correct cable in my PSU box. Also something to note, you have to use the included Commander Pro IQ controller that comes with the XH305i RGB Pro kit if you want IQ to control all your RGB. I opted initially to try and use the Commander Core XT IQ controller found in the 5000T, which works for the most part, but I had to use the included adapters to use my two motherboard ARGB headers to control those devices lighting. When it comes down to it, water cooling ain't cheap, but it's hella fun. The Corsair IQ XH305i RGB Pro is really pretty to look at with all the RGB coming from the three QL120 fans, the XC7 CPU water block, and the XD5 pump res combo. This kit has everything you need to get your water cooling loop up and running. I should also tell you that Corsair offers a few different hardline water cooling kits like the XH303i RGB and Pro versions as well as a non-Pro version of the XH305i RGB, all of which are at different price points. If you want to check those out, links below. All right, guys, this is going to do it for my look at Corsair's IQ XH305i RGB Pro. If you guys haven't liked and subscribed by now, please consider doing so to help extreme hardware grow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.